I now want to teach you guys about calorimetry. Simply defined, calorimetry is the science of measuring how much heat is produced by chemical reactions. Devices used to measure this are called calorimeters. Here's an artistic depiction of a simple calorimeter. The way it works is we place our reactants inside some type of container, which could be two styrofoam cups nested together, and we seal the container using a cork stopper or often a more high-tech stopper. We stir the mixture to get the reaction going and we measure the temperature change as the reaction proceeds. Now as I talked about in an earlier lecture, you might remember that for a constant pressure system, that is one in which there's no expansion or contraction due to change in pressure, when I have a chemical reaction going, the change in enthalpy is equal to Q, the amount of heat given off by our chemical process. Now calorimeters help us to measure enthalpy change, delta H, for specific reactions by measuring the heat Q that they produce. And this prompts me to ask you a simple lecture question. Would the temperature go up or down in an exothermic reaction? Now, I'm not going to answer that for you, but sincerely hope that you have the ability to answer it on your own. Now as we discussed back in chapter 3, combustion reactions have the general formula shown here in which some kind of hydrocarbon combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. There are also combustion reactions that involve reacting alcohols, whose formula I have not shown here, with oxygen to form the same product. Now these reactions are studied calorimetrically by using a bomb calorimeter that's flushed with excess O2. Here is a picture of a bomb calorimeter. Now you can imagine that if you're combusting hydrocarbons or alcohols in the presence of oxygen, it's going to create a tremendous amount of heat and pressure. Bomb calorimeters operate by the same principle as our styrofoam calorimeter shown in the previous slide. However, they are generally much stronger to be able to resist the increase in pressure caused by these types of reactions. A simple bomb calorimeter will have a small steel chamber nested inside an external steel chamber filled with water. The chemical reaction, the actual combustion, is done in here, and presumably all of the heat that's produced when that material is combusted is transferred to the water outside. The water's temperature increases by a certain amount, and that amount is measured using a thermometer. The water is of course stirred to keep it homogeneous so that the temperature increase will be uniform throughout. By doing this type of process we can measure the temperature change, Q, and hence the delta H or change in enthalpy of our combustion reaction. Here's a link to a really cool YouTube video featuring bomb calorimetry that you're welcome to watch if you wish.